Just a few years after its launch in 1990, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope made a groundbreaking discovery. Nearly every galaxy in the universe appears to have a supermassive black hole at its center. Some are millions or even billions of times more massive than our Sun. Along with these cosmic heavyweights, galaxies also contain countless smaller black holes. These form when massive stars reach the end of their lives and usually have a mass of less than a hundred times that of the Sun. But in between these extremes is something much harder to find – intermediate mass black holes. They range from a few hundred to a few hundred thousand times the mass of our Sun. These black holes are tricky to detect because they don't constantly feed on gas and stars. They don't shine unless they're caught in the act of eating a nearby star. That's what makes tidal disruption events so important. When a star strays too close to a black hole, it gets torn apart and the black hole unleashes a burst of energy. Hubble and NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory teamed up to study one of these rare events in a galaxy called NGC 6099, where a source known as HLX-1 lit up the sky. Chandra detected powerful X-rays with temperatures around 3 million degrees, exactly what you'd expect from a star being devoured. Hubble examined the same location in ultraviolet and optical light, revealing a dense cluster of stars surrounding the black hole. These stars are packed so tightly that they're only a few light months apart, about 500 billion miles, providing a convenient potential food source for the black hole. This discovery shows the importance of different telescopes looking at the universe in different types of light. Unique telescopes working together can paint the full picture of what's happening in our universe.